Hey guys, welcome to Victuals Organics. Today we're going to be making some zucchini pancakes. This is definitely a kid friendly recipe. As you can see, my son is having a ball of a time. These were specifically made for my 13 months old daughter who now began the phase of eating food on her own. So they are really nice and small where she can hold them for herself and enjoy. We need one and a third cup of zucchini grated. Then you squeeze out the liquid as much as possible. I'm doing this by hand. You can use a paper towel to help you. Up next, we need eggs. I'm using two medium-sized eggs here. So I'm cracking them and then I'm going to beat them or give them a slight whisk before adding them to the bowl. Today, my son is helping me, so he's whisking away. In goes those eggs and now we're adding three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. You can use a less glutinous flour if you like. Two tablespoons of milk. Then we'll be needing some bacon powder. In goes my Trini green seasoning, which I dehydrated, made by Victuals Organics. Salt to taste. I'm adding no pepper and then you give this a good stir. Ensure that all the ingredients are well incorporated. Scrape down the sides of the bowl as well. Using a silicone brush, I'm just oiling my griddle. I'm now adding one tablespoon amount per heap and we're going to just do this until all the butter is used up. If you think it's too runny, you can add a little bit of flour again. Allow this to go for about a minute and then you can turn them. So I'm just using a spatula to flip them and you give them a little squeeze so that they can cook well. Remember these are eggs and you're giving this to a baby so you will not want any kind of raw eggs going on there. So ensure that you turn it around and they are well cooked. This process may take about three to four minutes in total on a medium heat. Now if you're unsure just leave it for about five minutes in total cooking time. Please keep in mind that the zucchini will have the inside of the pancake very moist. So you may think that it's uncooked, but it's really cooked. Let's cut into one to make sure that it's cooked properly before we take them off. Once it's cooked to your liking, when you have a look at it, look at this, this looks perfect to me. You can take them off the griddle and place them onto a paper towel lined plate. I'm just gonna finish the rest of the batter and then we're all done. Allow them to cool completely before serving to the kids. These can be served with any type of their favorite sauces, maybe ketchup, barbecue sauce, whatever they desire, or it can be enjoyed alone as we are eating them. Here's my taste tester, that's his first bite and he gave us a thumbs up. So I guess you can try this out for your kids and let me know how does it work. I'll leave the recipe in the description wherever this recipe is seen. Bye guys!